Hey guys, so today's video is a fun collab with the beautiful Nikki Tutorials. We decided to film iconic makeup looks. I did Sophia Loren and on her channel she did Peggy Moffat. So don't forget to go to her channel to check it out and subscribe because she's so fun, silly and just an amazing artist. I love her and you guys will definitely love her makeup looks. With that said, let's get started with Sophia Loren. Prior to filming, I already filled in my eyebrows, however, I'm going to use the Anastasia brow gel to kind of make all those brow hairs go straight up because that's the shape that Sophia Loren always had going on. Picking up MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, I'm going to apply that as my base and I'm also going to carve out my brows with this. Then I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro Palette and take that white eyeshadow and pop that onto my brow bone because she had a really high brow bone so this is going to make it look really nice and high up there. Then I'm going to take Sable on a MAC 224 and of course you guys always know adding a transition shade is key. This is kind of just like a wash of color because her eyeshadow is pretty simple so I'm just putting that into the crease. Then I'm going to take Slate, which is a silvery color from the same palette. I'm going to pack that on to the lid and I'm kind of going to map out the shape of where the eyeliner is going to go and give myself that cat eye that she always had going on. Make sure you leave the outside of your eye free of shadow because that's where the white eyeliner is going to go later. After you've applied that shadow, then go in one last time with the sable color and just buff it out. Next, I'm taking my NYC liquid liner and this liner is pretty amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, you should. Um, anyways, I'm going to use this and make sure you bring the eyeliner all the way to the inner corner and I'm using that eyeshadow to map out where my flick is going to go and she always had really thick extreme eyeliner which is why I chose her because I love liner and so I'm just building that wing up. Next I'm taking Makeup Geeks Immortal Gel Liner on a Delium Tools liner brush and I'm just gonna apply this on the lower lash line but don't hit the waterline with this because we're gonna bring this up to make it look like we have an exaggerated elongated cat eye. We're gonna fill in that empty space with white liner. You guys can use any white liner. I'm using the Inglot gel liner for this. I'm just gonna apply that under the black liner that we placed above and also in the water line. And here I'm just going up and darkening the black liner a bit and just cleaning it up. Now it's time for lashes which is really gonna bring this look together. I'm applying my House of Lashes Iconic big surprise <laughs> and then my bottom lashes are precious and while those lashes dry I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation so I'm using hello flawless foundation with a Zoeva foundation brush and I'm just gonna buff that into the skin next I'm taking my motives foundation quad in medium and applying that to the under eye just to get rid of any dark circles and it's also gonna brighten up just a bit to give myself those super high cheekbones that Sophia had, I'm just going to apply my MAC a highlighter in Light Boost and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to use this MAC Studio Fix in NC43 as my sort of transition shade but for my contour. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone so I'm going to use this to kind of warm up my skin before I go in with a heavy duty contour. I'm buffing this in with a Tarte brush that I got from Holiday Kit. Then I'm going to use the banana powder from the Anastasia Contour Kit and just kind of set all of that under eye area that we did earlier. Alright, so for the heavy duty contour, I'm going to use the City Color Contour Kit. And this is super extreme and I love it for that very reason. But I'm going to give myself a super round kind of contour just to accentuate the roundness of my cheekbones just like hers. Then I'm going to take my Mary Luminizer and apply that to the high points also just to make my cheekbones look a little bit higher. Do you guys see the pattern here? <laughs> 
Now I'm gonna take MAC Blush in Peaches and I'm gonna place this on the back of my cheeks, not on the apple so much because I wanna keep that really sharp, elongated look. I'm gonna pick up Strip Down Lip Liner and pretty much overline the crap out of my lips because she got some big old lips. And then I'm gonna take Myth and apply that first because it's a light color so it's gonna make the lips appear larger and then I'm gonna mix that with Kinda Sexy also by MAC. Now I'm picking up Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown and I'm gonna kind of put a fake mole over here because I noticed that she does that sometimes and if you apply a little bit of powder over it, it makes it look more natural. To make it look like I had dark hair just like Sophia, I just clipped in these Bellamy clip-on bangs and then I tied a piece of fabric as a scarf around my head to make it look just like the photo that I love of Sophia Loren. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to check Nikki out on her channel to see her tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next video or I'll see some of you at BeautyCon this Saturday. Bye guys!